Hello, my name is Katie with the Hastings YMCA and this is Tai Chi, Moving for Better Balance for Beginners. Today we are going to be focusing on the seventh form, introducing and focusing on it. It is called Fair Lady Works at Shuttle. Um, this class is about 45 minutes long. You can go barefoot, you can wear some comfortable walking shoes, no heels please. Um, if you're wearing sandals, try to make sure they have a back to them so that they don't, so you don't, you know, take the chance of tripping over them, right? Um, we are going to be working on the ch seated version in the chair, the uh, chair assisted version where you stand behind the chair and use it for assistance if you need it, and just, you know, the actual standing without any assistance whatsoever. <coughs> All right, let's roll those shoulders up, back and down. <sighs> One more time. All right, uh, we have our posture now. We're standing tall, our shoulders are back, and we're inhaling and exhaling. Three deep breaths. Let's look to the side as we continue that breathing. Exhale, looking to the other side. Keep on going. You are here in the moment. Nothing else matters. And I have an announcement for later, assuming I remember it. Hopefully I will. <laughs> All right, let's drag that chin across your collarbone as you continue looking side to side. If you hear some snap, crackle, pop going in your neck at this time, don't worry about it. If it hurts, yeah, then you worry, then you stop. However, usually this sort of thing doesn't hurt. It's totally normal, totally fine. All right, let's take looking to the looking ahead. You inhale through the nose as you bring it up. And exhale through the mouth as your chin goes down to your chest. Again, looking up, inhale. And exhale, looking down. Inhale. And exhale. shake things out. Ugh. Ankle circles, roll that foot around. And let's reverse. The nice thing about these videos is that you can take one instructional video and use it to practice the whole week if you want. That should be a hint. <laughs> All right, shake that out. Let's do the other side. You can take just one of these videos, like today's video, and you can use it to practice this form every single day if you wanted. Hint, hint. <laughs> Reverse. It's okay. I know when people are not face to face with someone, uh, when they're left to their own devices, usually they won't do something. And that is not me judging, because I am guilty of that as well. <laughs> Let's shake things out. La, 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 la. All right. You're going to have that heel to the front and toe to the front. Just one um, direction this time. 
heel and toe, flex and point, flex and point. If you are not able to flex and point your foot, then yeah, go to the back, go to the front. Totally fine. One more. All right, shake things out. Let's switch sides. So here, again, flex and point. If you are unable to flex and point for whatever reason, then just go back and front, back and front, okay? I am going to stay to the front this time. Give me one more. Point, flex, and release. Shake those legs out. Okay. Our feet are about hip width apart. You're going to lift those arms up and down. Bending the knees as you go down. Straightening as you come up and down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you go down. Now your arms aren't going way up there, no. They're just coming up to about your face. If you'd rather go to just your shoulders, that is okay. One more, up and down. Shake that out. Your legs are still hip width apart. You're going to distribute your weight side to side. It occurred to me in the last class that I had started to do a kind of arm movement during the warm up before I took my little <laughs> injury break. And uh, I did not do it in the last class because I had totally forgotten until the end. So I will endeavor to reintroduce that um, in our remaining time because you will need it for your final form, which we will introduce next week. And that ties into my announcement. All right, let's add some arms gliding along with our body. Gentle breathing, we're still standing tall. So our butt is not stuck out, we're not slouching, we're just standing tall. Mm -hmm. You can pretend you are a breeze, a nice gentle breeze, not a strong Nebraskan wind, more like a breeze that, I don't know, Nebraska people probably are not familiar with because oh my goodness, it is windy here. If you ever had dreams of being Mary Poppins, you should live in Nebraska. I like the wind, so I'm cool with it. Cool with it. All right, let's stop in the middle and go down. We are going to roll those shoulders up, back, and down. I am alternating. If you want to go both at a time, that's fine. If you want to make this bigger, you can lead with your elbows. If that feels good, you can make it even bigger and lead with your hands. Ow. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to lead with my uh, shoulders. Not because it hurts my shoulders, but because I just did a class yesterday. I'm still trying to figure out what I did. My biceps are so sore. Oh my gosh. Let's reverse that. Not reverse the biceps, reverse your shoulder rolls. <laughs> ah. And if you are curious what I'm talking about, why are my shoulders, why are my arms so sore? Uh, I would recommend that you check out the senior fit video from Tuesday, May, today, May 12th, or not today. Um, yeah, I think May 12th. Tuesday, May 12th. 
All right, shake it out. Check out that senior fit video if you are curious why my arms are so sore. I did not use any equipment at all, nor was I on the floor. So how is it possible? Okay, what am I gonna do now? I am put placing one hand down toward the floor. I'm going to use that single whip kind of hand where the fingers all go together. I'm gonna grab it and pull it up, shoulder, elbow, wrist, say hello, and then go down. I'm glad I put my phone, other side, on do not disturb, because I just got a phone call. It's worrisome when my husband calls me from his work. I always think, did he forget something? Does he need something? Well, you know what? <laughs> it can wait, because I'm here with you. I am here with you. <sighs> oh, that's a freeing sensation. The outside world can wait. is not the easiest thing in the world for me to do. So, we are going to, okay, I gotta get this in my head, so I'm gonna first do it frontwards. So, I'm holding my ball, and I've got like this. Okay, so, you are gonna start off, pardon me while I close my eyes, I'm also visualizing what I need to do. This is just some arm movement practice. Your legs are gonna be staggered. I should open my eyes for this. <laughs> your legs are gonna be staggered. Uh, how about take your left foot in front, your right foot on the ball, or behind. You're gonna hold that ball. And I'm just, this is, would be, this would be the beginning of the form. I just want you to hold your ball right now so that you get um, a wave to get into the mood. Gosh, I just better start because my mouth's not working. So your left arm comes up right, your right arm goes back, and that's all you're gonna do. Palms, take it back, and take it palm. Take it back, and take it palm. You're like, what? what is she doing? What is this accomplishing? Well, eventually your arm is gonna get tired. <laughs> so you're building up strength in your shoulder doing this. You are getting some muscle memory. Give me one more. Alrighty, shake those arms out. Let's switch legs because something tells me your legs are getting a little tired from that staggered stance. Now, your arms are holding the ball in that other position. Your right arm comes up, your left arm goes back. And just do that, palm and back. And palm and back. You should be able to see that top hand, the palm. If your thumb starts to stick up, just relax your hand. That is my biggest thing with this particular movement, well, with most particular movements, my thumb always tends to just point, like a pointer dog. It's crazy. And then people will mimic that and they'll stick their thumbs up. Of all the things to mimic, don't mimic my thumb. <laughs> don't mimic my thumb. My thumb is bad. I need to tie it to the rest of my hand to keep it from going up. One more. All right, shake that off. All right, back, what? Back to that original stance. You are going to distribute your weight forward, <coughs> excuse me, and back. Feet are flat on the floor, and back. 
your last two forms, Fair Lady Work Said Shuttle, and then number eight, which we will get into later, will have this kind of leg movement. All right, lift up that heel in the back as you come forward, and then toe up in the front as you go back. <clears throat> so Fair Lady Work Said Shuttle. Same legs, same deal. Just like usual, this is your main kind of leg movement, right? Throughout most of the forms. If you want to adopt this particular kind of movement with your heel up and your toe up, if you want to use that for number eight, that's fine, that's optional, you know? If you feel comfortable keeping your feet flat on the floor, that is what I'll be doing because that is how I originally learned it. Um, it's not all that important for that particular form. And let's rest it out. Okay, switch sides, staggered stands. You're going forward and back. So for form eight, I'll just tell you what the name is. Grasp the peacock's tail. So for form eight, you would be maybe keeping your feet down on the floor just like this. And there's a lot of forward and backward movement, body movement. If, however, you're more comfortable lifting that heel and lifting that toe, then that is what you do. Join me now, we're lifting our feet, or lifting our heels and toes. Heel in the back leg, toes in the front leg. Sometimes I see people lifting both of their heels. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Just the one in the back. The back leg only has one heel. Lift that one. If you lifted the heel in the front leg, that places a lot of strain on that knee. We want to avoid that in this kind of class. Give me one more front to back, yeah? All right, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we are gonna use that chair for a second for some balance. If you don't need your chair for balance, that's fine, totally fine, don't use it. If you do need it, it's right there. We're gonna lift up one knee eight times, okay? And actually, we are gonna use that opposite hand to lift the opposite leg. So make sure you have an arm free for the chair if you need it. All right, let's lift it up and down. Two, three, Four more. You got four. And three. Here we go. Two. And hold this one up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Five, four, three, two. And lower down. Shake it out. Now you're going to switch sides. I'm just going to move my chair. All right. You ready? Let's lift that other knee up and down, and up and down. Four, four more, four, and three, and two. Hold it up here, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it for five, four, three, two, and lower it down, shake it out. How did you do? <laughs> it's okay if you fell over. That's fine. All right, that's where we have our chair, right? Let us learn. I'm gonna show you Fair Lady Works at Shuttle, and then we're just gonna jump in and start practicing it, okay? Don't worry about the other forms right now. Today is all about Fair Lady. Works the shuttle. All right, I'm gonna open up that form, stick in left, heel toe, arms up, and down. Now 
Now, I'm not going to cue it. I'm just going to go through it right now. And that is how you do Fair Lady Works and Show. I'm going to close up that form because I opened it. All right, let's go through our queuing, yeah? <clears throat> yeah? Shake all your fidgets out. Let's open up that form. Stepping left, heel toe, arms up as we inhale. <sighs> Step back in, exhaling. Fair Lady Works at Shuttle. We preload to your right. Your left foot comes out in front. Your left arm will have that little forearm twist as it comes up. Your palm is facing out. Your right hand just kind of pushes out a little bit. It's almost in position already, so it just pushes out a little bit. And then you distribute forward, heel up, back, toe up. And then you step forward. Your right arm comes underneath and your left arm flops down on top. We're going to try that again on um, you know, your, your other side. So preload to the left, right foot forward, twist that right forearm up so your palm is facing out. You twist it out. I don't think you can twist it in. I've seen people try. How is that comfortable? That's not comfortable. Twist it out. Make it easy. And then just push out with that left hand. I'm going to lower my elbow a bit. Here we go. Heel up and back. Toe up in front. And step forward. Your left arm comes underneath. Your right pops down on top. Again, we preload. Step forward with that left leg. Left arm, forearm twist up. And both hands are pushing out. You should not see your palm. You should see the backs of your hands. Heel up and back. Toe up in front, and step. Right hand goes underneath, left is on the bottom. Oh, left is on the top, sorry. <clears throat> Preload, right foot forward, twist that right hand up. Left hand just comes, and they both push out a little bit. You have that nice bend in your elbows. Heel, oh, I'm running out of room. Toe, and we're gonna step forward. And look, you can still see me. <laughs> Have your straight legs. <laughs> Don't be bent. All right. Preload. Left foot forward. Left hand twists up. Right also goes to push. Heel up. Toe up. And step forward. Again. Preload. Forearm twists up on that right arm. Both hands are pushing out a little bit. Heel and toe and step. Is your left hand on top? I hope so. I'm going to step back a little bit again. Preload. Left side. Left hand goes up. They are both pushing out. Heel and toe and step. Step. Right hand is underneath, left hand is on the top. We preload. Right side goes up. Pushing out both hands. Heel up, toe up, and step forward. Again, preload. Left side. You're starting to get the hang of it. Heel and toe and step. Step. Last time. Preload. Right side. Your right hand goes up. Both hands are pushing out. Heel. Toe. And step. We're going to close it up. X. Up. And down. Blah. Shake it out. Shake it out. Now is the time to stretch things out. We're going to take a bit of a break. I have no water with me. I forgot to bring my water. 
And you're like, you have all those bottles. I'm picky. I'm just picky. Half of those bottles are empty anyway. Alrighty. If you um, need to go to the bathroom, uh, drink your water, blah, 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 pause the video, come back when you're ready. Um, otherwise, just join me here. We're going to stretch things out. So hands on your thighs. You're going to arch your back into that cat position. And then reverse, sink it under for that cow. From the side, I look like cat and cow. And keep going at your own pace. Nice and slow and gentle. One more each way. All right, rolling the shoulders back, coming back to the front. I'm gonna twist my back a bit, so hand on the outside of your legs, twisting toward that side as far as is comfortable. If you feel sharp pain, please stop. <laughs> oh, my back cracked. Oh, nice. Oh, it was a pitiful crack, but at this point, anything is better than nothing. One of the worst things during my during last week, when my back was like, oh, I could not crack it. It was so inflamed. I could not crack the back. And the moment I could, it was just incredible relief. Oh my goodness, it's like going to a chiropractor. Arm on the outside of your leg, we're gonna twist other side. And let me just say, if, a, if you ever tried to crack your joints or pop your joints and it hurts, well, just don't do it. I don't care what people say, go through the pain. No, don't go through the pain. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, that drives me bonkers. People say, no pain, no gain. And if you want to get better, you've got to go through the pain. some cases that's true. However, if you're on your own, no. Just no. Because we don't know if the pain is good or if the pain is bad in that case. Go to a professional. They'll tell you. And they'll ask you specifically, you know, exactly how your pain feels. And they will know if that sounds like bad or good pain. Blah, blah, blah. All right. We are going to widen those feet apart. If you are comfortable at this point, stay here. If you can sink all the way down to the floor, it's a really nice stretch for your back. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sink on down. Again, if you feel any sharp pain doing this, don't do it. All right, slowly come up, vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling those shoulders back when you reach the top. Oh, already I'm feeling better than Tuesday's video. I'm able to stand longer, able to come up, from that stretch without pushing against the floor. Oh, it's awesome. All right. Um, <clears throat> we are going to now practice the seated version of uh, this, this form. Fair lady works set shuttle. Sometimes I have a brain fart and the name of the form just, just does not come to my mind. Fair lady works at shuttle. 
We are not leaning back, slouching against the chair. You may want to, don't do it. Ah, use that back, use those core muscles to sit tall. And you can say, I don't have core muscles. Yes, you do. You just love them so much that you're protecting them under layers of everything else. You know, that's what I do. I love my muscles so much, I hide them to protect them. <laughs> or a friend of mine said, all that is just muscle and repose. So there you go. Muscle and repose. You gotta wake it up. Okay, so. Fair lady works at shuttle. Seated. If you cannot move your legs for whatever reason, don't worry about them. Just stay here. If you can move them, it's the same movement as usual. Oops, let me back up. There, now you can see my feet. It's the same movement as usual where you come out and in, out and in. That has not changed. Just the arms, okay. Just the arms have changed. So you're gonna preload, just a little twist to the side, and that left foot comes, I was gonna do that. <laughs> Let me start over and not do part the wild horse's mane. We're fair, sh fair shuttle. Fair lady works at shuttle. Eve. So you preload. Your left leg comes forward. Your left arm comes up to push. Your right arm stays down here. It's still pushing. You lean forward and back and center. And you step back in and your arms come to hold the ball. Let's see if I can get my cueing under control now. So you preload your right hand and right foot, your right foot steps forward, your right arm twists up, your left arm stays down, you are pushing, remember, you are pushing with both palms, a little bend in both the elbows, we're not out here, I know you can see my elbows. So your heel comes up, toe comes up, and center and step back in. Preload, right foot, or sorry, left foot, left arm, because technically heel, that is my right foot. And step back in. Your left arm is on top, your right is on the bottom. Correct. You preload, your right arm comes up, heel, and toe, and center, step back in. Sometimes, preload, a lot of times right now, you will see me, this is your left side, with my elbow like way up, I'm losing control of that elbow. It should be, you know, further down here, not way up here, further down here. Heel, and toe, center, step back in, left hand's on top, right is on the bottom. Preload, right side, Heel, toe, and step. This time, I'm not going to move my legs. It's as if we're only practicing our arms. Preload, left side comes up, and then back in. All right. Preload, right side comes up, and back in. Now let's add that body movement, but without the legs. Preload, left side comes up, forward, backward, and in. Preload, left, sorry, right side comes up, <laughs> forward, and backward, and in. Again, preload, left side, forward, backward, and in. Preload, right side, forward, backward, and in. All right, let's close this up. Bonk, a bonk, a bonk. I have no idea if I actually opened that. That was like two minutes ago. I don't remember things from two minutes ago lately. Same thing happened in another class. I couldn't remember what I had done literally two minutes ahead of time. 
Okay, we are going to practice chair assisted. Yay! You're getting all three in one day. Today's class is all about Fair Lady Work Social. Yay! All right, so you are holding your ball. Remember, the legs are the same where you step, center, and step back in. And you step, heel, toe, center, step back in. So that is the same as a lot of the other forms. That has not changed, okay? So you hold your ball. Your right hand is on top. I'm using my left hand to hold on to the chair. You preload. What I'm gonna do, step that left, left leg out, and I'm gonna bring that left arm up. Now my right arm is holding onto the chair. You don't have to worry about that if you don't need to. So if you need the chair, use your right arm here. And then you have your heel, your toe, center, and we're stepping back in. Your left hand plops down on top, okay? You're gonna preload the other way. Uh, right foot out, bring that right arm up to ward off. You have your heel up, your toe up, center, and step back in, plop that hand right on the top. So your holding hand doesn't have to do much. Preload, left foot, left arm, heel, toe, center, step back in. And you're holding your ball <clears throat> with your left arm on top. You have preload, right foot forward, right arm up. Oops, you dropped that elbow a little bit. Heel, and toe, <clears throat> center, and step forward. Your right arm's on top, yes? Preload, left foot forward, left hand up. Heel, and toe, center, step back in. Preload, right foot forward, right arm on top. Heel, and toe, and Step back in. Good job. One more each way. Preload, right, or sorry, left foot forward, left arm on top. Heel, and toe, and center, step back in. Preload, right side, heel, and toe, and step back in. I do not think I opened up this form. I remember two minutes ago. So I'm not gonna close it because I remember I never opened it. My bad, I should have opened it. Oh well, live and learn. Okay, let me check the time real fast. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to have a seat. That was all three variations of the seventh form. Fair Lady works at Shuttle. That's all we do today. Nothing else. If you want to practice your other forms, you go for it. You can choose the Tuesday's video or you can choose any of the videos really. <clears throat> so we are going to shake our hands out. We have not done our finger exercises in so long. So let's do that. Yeah. Uh, wiggle those fingers around. I'm going to come forward a little bit. You don't need my legs. Okay. Our uh, palms are up. We're going to do our thumb to palm, index, middle, ring, and pinky. And other way. Pinky, ring, middle, index, and thumb. And keep going. If you want to make this harder, you can switch your fingers up by doing like thumb and pinky, index and ring, middle, index and ring, thumb and pinky. You can flip a hand over. You can close your eyes. You can look anywhere but your hands. <laughs> I thought too much and then lost my finger work. Oh well. And again, we are not slouching against the back of the chair. I know you want to. Don't do it. Sit 
Sitting tall, shoulders are back. And let's shake our hands out. La, 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 la. Finger domes. The tips of your fingers are together in a kind of dome. Here, maybe you can see it there. I don't know. Um, if it turns into a teepee, don't worry about it. There are other things to stress about. Don't stress about if your fingers are in a dome or a teepee. Circle those thumbs around. There are a lot more important things in life. <laughs> Oh, priorities, priorities. And you know what? It's the little things that we tend to focus on. I don't know. Maybe it's because the little things are the things we have more control over. So we focus on those rivers <clears throat> in the hopes of controlling something, or sorry, succeeding at controlling something and um, feeling a bit calmer and better. However, and that's great, that's great, that's what I do. I focus on the things that I can control. But what happens when I do not succeed at controlling them? And they're really not important. Index fingers. I get really stressed and I start to freak out. So, in cases like that, just remember that those little things they're really not important. So it is okay. It's okay if you cannot control them. Try something else. <laughs> Rivers, go for a different kind of activity or element that you can control. Maybe the only thing that you can control right now is saying, you know what, forget all of you People forget all of this world. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to breathe. And you can control that unless you're asthmatic. In which case, I hope you have your inhaler because you can control that. Middle finger. And the moment I say you can control that, like all these different other scenarios pop up, these de details. Well, if you're asthmatic, okay, you have your inhaler. Well, what if your inhaler has run out? Okay, what if the pharmacy was closed and you couldn't get another one? Oh, you can reverse, you can go on that kind of train of thought and drive yourself crazy. Or you can just sit down and say, stop, stop it. Ring finger. This is quite possibly the hardest finger you've got going. If you're watching me, you will notice that I am constantly losing my dome, my finger dome, but that's okay. I am concentrating on just keeping the tips of my fingers together. Let's reverse and um, Circling the particular fingers. Whatever. <laughs> My mind's not working, I'm focusing too hard. All right, pinkies! <clears throat> Don't have to focus so hard on those. It's okay if your fingers are hitting each other while they do this. Reverse. The important thing is that they do it. You could be going slow, dragging your fingers along each other. That's fine. If you notice, you're still going in circles. Slow and steady or fast and furious. You know, everyone is at their own place. It's fine. And every day is going to be different. All right, let's shake those hands out. And roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Two more times. I have my announcements still, I did not forget. 
Let's sweep those arms up as we inhale. I made you wait till the end. Sneaky. Inhale. <sighs> Shaking things out. Okay. The announcement. Now, um, if you're familiar with this program, the Tai Chi Moving for Better Balance program is a 12-week program. And we, the Hastings YMCA, started March, what, 3rd, 4th, something like that. We started on the beginning of March on a Tuesday. And our classes are always Tuesday, Thursday. So 12 weeks later would be May 22nd, but that's a Friday, so it would be May 21st. As you guys know, that's next week. <laughs> um, and we still have one more form to introduce. Uh, we are behind because I was out for an entire week. Normally, I would have gone over Fair Lady Work Set Shuttle uh, last week and I would have been more ready to introduce uh, Grasp the Peacock's Tail, Form 8. I would have been introducing that today. Well, that didn't happen, obviously. So in order to make up for my missed week, I am adding on an extra week. So instead of ending May 21st, we will end May 20... Is May 28th a Friday or is it a Thursday? Okay, well anyway, that week, the week of May 28th, <laughs> which is, which is whatever, the, the week of May 28th, that Thursday, that will be our last day, okay? And when I have a calendar in front of me, I will actually write it down in the description box below the video. And I'm pointing because the description box should be there instead of my floor being there. Um, so we end May, the week of May 28th, that Thursday, instead of May 21st. We got an extra week going on there. So you're going to get the full program. True, the videos missed the first couple weeks, but the people in the program with me did not miss those days. So it's all, it's all good. It works out nice and even. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please use this video to continue practicing Fair Lady Work Set Shuttle. Uh, we don't have much time left. So I highly encourage you to practice on your own. I will not judge you if you don't, because if it was me, I probably wouldn't either. I would just forget and do other things in my life. That's just me, you know. I understand, that's what it means, I understand. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you later, and you guys have a good week, good weekend, and la-di-da, all right.